It begins when the object of your affection bestows upon you a heady, hallucinogenic dose of something you've never even dared to admit you wanted, an emotional speedball of thunderous love and excitement. Soon you start craving that attention with the hungry obsession of any junkie. When it's withheld, you turn sick, crazy, not to mention resentful of the dealer who encouraged this addiction in the first place, but now refuses to pony up the good stuff. I'm frustrated. I'm concerned. I don't understand. What? what don't you get? What don't you get, Liz? What's going on here? You don't look me in the eye. You Nobody's don't finish asking you to make the bed. With me. Nobody's you don't asking have you to sex make the bed. With me. Sometimes I'm not in the mood. God damn him. And he used to give it to you for free. Next stage finds you skinny, shaking in a corner, certain only that you'd sell your soul just to have that one thing one more time. Well, then why don't we discuss it? Why don't we sort it? Why don't we okay. act uh, like adults I have a about it? Sometimes? How about that? Meanwhile, the object of your adoration is now repulsed by you. You don't always make me miserable, right? There's I just, a comfort. I just sometimes I need to come home and have a little David time. He looks at you like someone he's never met before. Is that okay? Yeah, no, it's fine. And, and not have to like, you know, justify it? The irony is you can hardly blame him. I mean, check yourself out, you're a mess, unrecognizable even to your own eyes. You asked me to come here? Here I am. And it turned into something else, didn't it? You're such a child. <laughs> right. I can't take the same. Great. Perfect. That's a great response to a conversation. You have now reached infatuation's final destination. The complete and merciless devaluation of self.